Hello there, I'm Ranger Ryan. Welcome to Pompeii's Pillar National Monument. We're so glad you're here. At Pompeii's Pillar, you will come face to face with both the natural world and U.S. history. Pompeii's Pillar is a national conservation land site near Billings, Montana. That means it's a special place where we conserve, protect, and restore nature, as well as history. Travelers just like you have been stopping right here at this natural landmark for thousands of years. Would you like to come explore hiking trails along the Yellowstone River? Visit an old homesteader's farm site and see our teepee display. Check out our interpretive center, maybe? Or just view the famous signature of Captain William Clark of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. All of that can be found right here for you to discover. People come to Pompeii's Pillar to spend time together outdoors, have picnics, get exercise, explore nature, and just learn about our nation's history. This area has been an important place for several Native American tribes for generations. The site of course recognizes the American flag, but we also have all eight flags of the federally recognized tribes here in Montana. They include the Crow, the Blackfeet, Fort Belknap, the Flathead, Fort Peck, Little Shell, Rocky Boy, and the Northern Cheyenne tribes. Ranger Tessa, welcome to the Interpretive Center here at Pompeii's Pillar National Monument. Come on inside. Look down, we're on the Yellowstone River. Let's follow it and see where it goes. Did you know we're on the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail? This is one of the only places where you can see evidence from their journey. You may be wondering, where is Lewis? Well, on their way home, Lewis and Clark split up into two groups, and this is one of the places where Clark and his group stopped. Our first stop is at the exhibit hall, and here we can learn about the plants, animals, rocks, and history of the monument. We can see Captain Clark and some of the members of his group. Would you like to know why we call it Pompey's Pillar? It's actually named after this little guy, Pomp. When we press this button, the lights show us the path Lewis and Clark took across the landscape. We made it back to the Yellowstone River. It also takes us to a wonderful gift shop and to the star of the monument, Pompey's Pillar. Where else will the river lead us? These boats are called canoes. They are similar to the ones that Lewis and Clark used on their journey. Clark and his team made a few of these boats right here with cottonwood trees, just like these. Can you imagine making and rowing a canoe like this one? Let's keep going. Here at Pompeii's Pillar, we have an abundance of wildlife. We have birds, snakes, and mammals like marmots, rabbits, and deer. We have many kinds of animals because we have different types of habitats. A habitat is where an animal has food and shelter and makes its home. The habitats here are prairies, riparian, or river areas, and the rocky cliffs of the pillar. Keep an eye out for critters as you continue to explore the monument. We made it to Pompeii's Pillar. Another name the crow people call the pillar is where the mountain lion lies. Let's climb up to the top. There are many ancient images on the pillar. Some, called pictographs, are pictures painted on the rocks, and some, called petroglyphs, are carved into the rock. Even though we can't really know for sure what all of the ancient rock images mean or who made them, we can still see many of them on the rock today. Pretty neat, huh? Let's climb up and see what else we can find. For a long time, people used this pillar kind of like the guest book we have in the Interpretive Center, as a place to stop and write your name to show you were here. Of course, we don't carve on the rock anymore because we want to see who is here before us and what they left behind for as long as we can. One of the most famous people to sign their names on the pillar is William Clark from the Lewis and Clark Expedition. His signature is the only evidence left of the entire expedition and you can see it face to face right here. Would you like to climb up to the top of the pillar just like Clark did 200 years ago? Let's go! Nice view, huh? From here we can see the Yellowstone River, surrounding sandstone cliffs, pine and cottonwood trees, and the Beartooth, Bighorn, and Bull Mountains. By now you can see that Pompeii's Pillar is not just a rock, it's a home for all the plants and animals that live here, a way to walk through history, and a hiking spot all in one. I hope you come back to Pompeii's Pillar National Monument to take a hike on our nature trails or to see the beautiful scenery. I'll see you soon.